leadership, as opposed to a leader, is not classified by a person, but rather as a process. Everyone wants to be a leader, but not everyone is ready to be a leader. Not everyone is willing to put the work and be committed to being a leader. From the head of a family to the CEO of a company, you are all leaders. A leader is a servant. Leadership can be defined as the process of influencing a group, team, or organization to help reach its goal. It can therefore be exercised by anyone in the group and not necessarily by the formal leader. It is also defined as the capacity to lead others. While a leader is someone who leads or directs or has an authority to direct. Let's examine some of the unique traits of a leader. A leader must be visionary. He or she must have a vision that is what will be held accountable to him. The vision is the drive to achieve all the goals set aside. The vision answers questions as to why he's doing what he's doing. A leader's vision must be clear for others so that it can be well defined. If a leader doesn't have a vision, he ends up producing aimless workers. A leader must be a thinker. Not just an ordinary thinker, but a strategic one. This will help you to know what you are doing and help you to be analytical. It also will help to solve problems. It will also help you to beat competition and strategies. A leader is a reader. This is where many people have issues. If you can't read, you can't lead. You must be able to sit behind the desk and be able to read and study. These give you an edge above others. A leader is proactive. He doesn't sit in one place. He gets up and solves problems. All he ever sees is solutions. He takes actions. He always have a continuous mind shift which is constant. I believe you enjoyed the video. Please do me a favor by hitting the subscribe button. Share and drop your comments. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.